Hello, welcome back to Code Dias. In this particular video, I am going to discuss a self variable. So observe very carefully, sir. If you know class, object, and reference variable, better to watch this video. If you don't know class, object, reference variable, it is highly recommended. Better to watch my previous video. And if you know already class, object, and reference variable, if you have doubt in self variable, you can watch it, no problem at all. And if you don't know anything. Means a class object reference variable. Don't watch it. Fine, sir. So actually, first we will going to discuss the agenda of today's class. Basically, the agenda is very simple. First, I am going to discuss the introduction to self variable. Then we will going to discuss few sample uh, like uh, programs on self variable. Then we will going to understand those programs memory wise. Okay, memory representation wise. I mean dry run. Okay, complete thing we will going to discuss. Very very important. And finally, I am going to discuss questions, sir. See what is self. See, observe very carefully. To understand the self, you must require reference variable knowledge. So, actually, reference variable is basically used to access the attributes and methods of a object. Is it clear or not? It is acting as an accessor. Similarly, self is one type of reference variables only. So, what I'm saying, suppose if you have an object. Okay, and if you want to access the members of this object uh, outside of the class, uh, use your reference variable. If you want to access uh, members of a class inside the class, uh, okay, members of an object inside the class, uh, you can use something like called as a self variable. I know it is very complicated term for you, but at the end of the class, you will get hundred percent clarity. Fine, sir. Again, I'm saying, suppose if you have an object. And that object is containing attributes and method. If you want to act, if you want to access the attributes and method outside of the class, use reference variable. Inside of the class, use self variable. Is it clear or not? I hope you are getting. Okay, just just have a look once, sir. Suppose if you have a class, okay, and that class is suppose uh, that class name is something like called as student. Okay. And the student class is containing what something like attributes. Attributes means variables, and it is containing methods means a function. So, and something like you will create an object. Suppose s one is equals to student. This is object basically. So this is something. This is something like object creation, and this is my object. Here, who is the reference variable? Sir, S one is the reference variable. S one very S one is pointing to this particular object. Okay, so here this object is containing what attributes and methods. If I want to access that attributes and methods, I will going to use what S one S one dot name or S one dot age or something like I will going to use. So this is all about outside of the class. This is all about outside of the class. Similarly, if I want to access the members of this particular object, it means suppose I want to access attributes or methods inside this class, then I will going to use your self variable. I hope you are getting. So self you will going to use inside the class. Okay, reference variables you will going to use outside of the class. Believe me, both are same only. No difference. I am going to prove you here. Both are same. Sir, inject one thing in your mind. If you if you have an object and if you are to you if you want to access any data, okay, outside of the class, use reference variable. Inside of the class, use self variable. So, so have a look once, sir. Self means uh, uh, access inside a inside a class. Okay, access access object members, sir. Access object member inside a class. Okay, access object member inside a Class, so something like a reference variable means okay. Just have a look once. Access object, access object member, members outside of the class. Agree with me or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope it is clear. Basically, members class. Okay, that's fine. So any doubt, no, sir. Sir, here observe very carefully. If I want to access the members of this particular object, I am accessing with the help of a self variable. Why? Because I am accessing within the class. So if I am accessing outside class, so S one. So that means self and S one both are pointing to same memory location. I am going to prove it. 
Okay, that's clear cut information. Sir, have a look once, sir. By using reference variable, we can access, okay, we can, we can access attributes and methods outside of the class. But if you want to access, okay, class attributes and methods inside the class, then we can use something like called as self, okay, something like, okay, I hope you are getting, so here you can write the object, okay, that's clear cut information, right, sir. Next and after that, here you can write object. So self variable is basically used to access instance variables and uh, methods uh, of an object inside the class. Sir, again observe. Self is basically used to access two things. One is called as instance variable. Another is called as instance method. Sir, we don't know instance variables and instance method. Sir, all the methods of all the type of variable I am going to discuss in future class. Nah? Just inject this thing in your mind. That's it. If you are not injecting, no issues there. Just to try to uh, write down for the node set. Okay. Self variable is basically used to access what uh, instance variables and uh, instance methods. Sir, what is instance methods and all? I will cover in future, sir. Sir, next and after that, self is basically used to refer current class object or you can say current memory. This is the powerful words. Powerful words. Self is basically used to refer current class object or current memory. Sir, we don't know about what is current class object, current memory. I will discuss practically, programmatically, memory wise. You will get the clarity at the end. Just inject this thing in your mind now. That's it, yaar. Okay, just a three, four thing. First thing, outside class, uh, reference variable. Inside class, uh, self variable. By using self, what you can access? Instance variable and instance method. Sir, self is always pointing to current object, current object. I hope you are getting it. Fine. Now, it is also acting as a accessor. I can say it is also acting as a reference variable. Okay. Sir, self is the first argument for constructor and instance method. So what exactly it means, sir? sir object. Whenever we are creating a constructor, def underscore underscore init, okay, underscore underscore. First time you have to write a self, self. Okay, first, first argument must be self. Whenever you are creating instance method, suppose def print data. Okay, so first time you have to write a self. That part we will going to discuss in future. After this video, we will going to discuss constructor. Then we will going to discuss types of methods and all these things. And then only we will get the clarity. Don't worry at all. Inject this thing in your mind here. Apart from that, nothing. Okay, that's, that's fine, right? Okay, fine. Come back and we will now discuss practically so that you will get more clarity. So I hope you already watched my previous videos, right? That's what I'm hoping from your side. Or else you have basic knowledge on class and object. So what I'm going to do, I'll write a question, create a class, create a class, student. Having, having three member, I'm having three attribute and one method. That's it. So this is my question. So create a class student. So that means I'm going, I have to create a class called a student. How to create, sir? By using class. Okay, class a student. And student is having what? Three attributes. Okay, sir, observe def underscore underscore init underscore 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 self. Sir, don't ask me any question about this underscore underscore init. This is a constructor. I will cover in the next video. That's it. Sir, next and after that, what I will go into right? Self dot student is having name now, right? So what I will go into right? Here I can write name or directly I can write input. Enter your name. I will discuss it. Don't worry. Next, self dot age. So age means we have to convert to integer, right? Integer input. Enter your age. Hope you are getting right. So next and after that self dot uh, course. Is equals to input.
enter your course. That's it. Next, I'm going to create one instance method that is something like DEF print detail. And here it will going to take self and I'll going to write a print. So I'm going to uh, print a new line, okay, something like. So what I'm going to write this one minus symbol into 20 times. That means it will going to print what? 20, I mean, uh, lines. I, I mean, 20 minus symbols, okay? I hope you are getting, right? So if you don't know, let me give you this one. If I'm going to print, I will get this one, okay? That's it. I hope you are getting. So instead of 20, I can write 30. Yeah, that's it. Okay, right, sir. Next, what I'm going to do? I'm going to write a printer. So here I'm going to write F and I'm going to write a name is name is a something like called as self dot name. That's it. Similarly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this one, paste it, paste it. Age is a self dot age. Next and after that course is a self dot course. That's it ready. My design or blueprint or a template of the class is ready. Now I will going to create the object, sir. How to create the object, sir? I will going to write S one is equals to something like a student. Sir, is it required to pass anything? No, no, no. Now it is not required. So now I will going to write S one dot print details. Whenever I will going to execute this code, then what output I can expect? Observe very very carefully. So whenever I'm going to execute this code, uh, you are getting error. Why here? Self dot age. Oh, I forget to mention something like called as single quote. Yeah. So it is asking me first to enter your name. So let me execute, then I'm going to discuss. Enter your name, Priyanka. Okay. Enter age 24. Roll number 103. So it is giving name is Priyanka, age is 24, course is 103. Okay. Right. Sir, what I will going to do? I'm going to explain this one with the help of diagrammatical representations. So you will get clarity. So have a look once, sir. So new. Yeah. So first observe. Execution will start from suppose here. So first it will going to create an object inside a heap memory, right? I know you know that he objects are created inside a heap memory. So this is something like called as heap memory. Inside heap memory, okay, and this is something like stat memory. I hope you already watched my previous videos. So stat memory. So first of all, if you'll observe very, very carefully, one reference variable it will going to create that a reference variable is S1. So S1 and inside this, I can say inside heap memory, it will going to create an object, suppose this is, this is the object. This is object for student class. This is the object for student class. Okay, fine. Sir, this reference variable so is pointing to this particular object. I hope you are getting this is pointing to this object. That's fine. Right, sir. Next and after that, what I am going to do, if you'll observe very carefully, this S1 is created. This S1 is created inside a stack memory. So at the time of object creation, so remember this point here. At the time of object creation constructor will execute 
automatically. So at the time of object creation, constructor will execute automatically. So constructor will execute automatically. What exactly it means? Uh, so whenever you are creating the object, means uh, this is the line for creating object. At the time of object creation, it will going to execute what this particular constructor. So constructor is what? It is a special method. Means I can say this is a one type of function for the execution of this particular function. So inside a stack memory, it will going to create a frame. Okay, it will going to create a frame. Inside this frame, okay, inside this frame, suppose it will going to create a frame for, it will going to create a frame and it will going to execute all the, all the codes of a init method. Okay, what is the frame name if you are going to ask me? The frame name is a underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore. That is what, okay. This is something like frame. So inside this frame, first of all, it will going to create a, what, something like a local variable called as a self. So this is a self. Observe very, very carefully here. So self and the self will pointing to what? Now self will pointing to current object means this particular object. It will also pointing to this particular object. Sir, that means S1 and self both are pointing to same object. Of course, sir, I'll prove you are. Okay, fine. Next and after that, uh, next and after that, go inside. Now this is completed. Go inside. Whenever you are go inside, uh, input to enter your name. So this is means we require what output screen we require basically right. So what I'm going to do, I will create an output screen as actually. So we require one output screen is actually. So what I'm going to do, I will call this one, paste it here. Anyway, that's fine here so this is something like we required output screen here right one minute don't worry all right So this is something like my output screen. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create it here. Yeah, this is my output screen. I'm going to write a output screen. So inside this output screen, uh, so what exactly it will going to ask? Uh, enter your name. So it will going to ask me, enter your name. So I'm going to enter Priyanka. So that means uh, whenever I'm giving Priyanka means uh, now this Priyanka will assign to self dot name. You agree with me or not? You agree with me or not? This uh, name, this name will assign to something like called as self dot name. Self dot name. Self dot name means a self. Self is pointing to current object. Self dot name means it will going to create a instance variables. This is instance variable. So this variables it will going to create a inside the current object okay so what exactly it will going to create a it will going to create a variable called as name name variable called as name okay variable called as name and of that value so priyanka priyanka is a value name is pointing to priyanka name is pointing to priyanka that's particular that's fine right name is pointing to priyanka next and after that similarly once this one is ready, means we will move towards this particular line. It will going to ask me enter your age. Okay, enter your age. Just I have a look once, sir. Enter your age. Okay, enter your age. So I enter something like called as 24. So this 24 will store inside a self dot age. That means it will going to create a variable called as age. And it will pointing to what? It will pointing one pointing to an object called as a 24. Hope you are getting right. Or else watch the end, you will get it. Next. Enter your course.
so what i mention at that particular time in course ha ha nonsense yaar i'm very nonsense ha uh, enter your course i enter 103 that means i am thinking that i am i'm thinking that roll number right seriously nonsense yaar okay i have to execute again priyanka 24 course is a btech okay something like or mtech yeah mtech that's fine right sir so that's fine so whenever we are entering what mtech uh, it will going to, it will going to store that mtech inside a self dot course means it will going to create one instance variable so here so course sir. and course will pointing to mtech means course will hold the mtech any doubt sir no sir no now now constructor is executed compulsory constructor is executed na any doubt with the concept constructor no 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 so once this constructor means once this functions executed successfully that means it will gone gun from the memory means it will gone from the memory it will going to vanish from the memory are you agree with me or not it will going to vanish from the memory for your notes sake i'm writing here okay it will going to vanish from the memory once it is vanished from the memory means this particular line is completed so this particular line meaning is a create a object and execute a constructor that's it ready fine now we will move towards this particular line whenever we are moving towards this particular line it will going to call call s1 dot print details s1 dot print detail print detail means what print detail is a functions means methods so it will going to execute whenever this print detail will going to execute it will going to create a frame inside a stack memory inside a stack memory so inside this stack memory it will going to create one local variable called as self so it will going to create a local variable called as a self okay agree with me or not here yes agree so self so self is pointing to tell me current object current object current object means this particular object self is pointing to this particular object just like a reference variables okay fine sir now now if you will observe very carefully now this line completed we move towards this particular line this particular line means sir, it will going to give you something like a 30 minus symbols right where in a output screen so here you will get a 30 approximately you can count i don't think it will be 30 you can count by your own okay 30 next we will move towards this particular line so here it will going to print what name is self dot name self dot name means current name self means what self means current object current object dot name means what priyanka observe very very premium point yaar come on come on come on see self dot name self means what self means current object this particular object okay self is pointing to this particular object okay so self dot name means self dot name means self mean this object dot name means this one and what exactly it is holding priyanka getting now this flow of execution so how priyanka will come into the pictures means how the priyanka will going to print inside output screen ah so self is pointing to name and name is pointing to priyanka so sorry self is pointing to current object okay self dot name means okay name is pointing to priyanka so that means what output screen it will going to give you means it will going to give you something like a name is priyanka that's it yaar come on so here i will so priyanka fine so next we will move towards the next line next line and in next line age is self dot age age is a self dot age so that means what exactly it will going to give you age is a self dot age self dot age means what 24 age is a 24 self means current current okay something like you are getting so i think it is here now what i'll going to do i'll going to erase this one yeah so next we'll move towards this line course is a self dot course that means you can understand course is a mtech ready fine so that's it and this is the how you are getting the output but uh, you may ask the sir uh, uh, self mean uh, we are getting the clarity about self and all these things so uh, whenever we are accessing um, 
at uh, whenever you are accessing the, met the members of a object inside the class so we are using self outside the class we are using reference variables so it is okay but can you give one more example where this self is playing vital role right so i'll give one more example you will get more clarity okay so i'll give you one more example definitely you'll get more clarity but uh, yes now let me save this one ready now what exactly i will going to do create a new yeah so i created a new file so what i'll going to do i'll copy all these things i'll paste it here now it is a phrase any doubt no so i already told you if you have a one plan okay i mean what the if you have one class you can create a how many object depends on you you can create a multiple object so here i have a class of student okay i created how many objects sir one object i created not multiple object one object i created but what i'm saying can i create a multiple object why not sir you can create a multiple object yaar so similarly i'll going to create one more object okay something like three object i created s1 comma s2 comma s3 so if i am going to execute this one first it will going to ask me enter your name then i am going to enter something like called as priyanka uh, enter age 24 course mtech it's okay we are getting the output basically for uh, okay what i am going to do sorry 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 let me divide it first let me create the object then we will going to call okay fine execute why it is taking time i don't know restart the kernel and clear the output yeah now it is okay so enter the name priyanka enter the age 24 okay enter course mtech so these things are store inside of priyanka okay sorry these things are store inside a s1 object okay i will discuss that next now it is asking me for s2 object i will enter something like called as rahul 25 and the course is something like called as mca now it is going to store inside a uh, s2 object right okay fine now i will enter the name for something like i'll enter a name called as zini it's in capital okay anyway age 24 and course is msc if i am going to execute what output i will get you may think first i will get priyanka details then i will get rahul details then i will get jini detail but actually not first time i am calling s2 dot print detail s2 dot print detail means i will get a first time rahul data then i will get a priyanka data then i will get a jini data right just have a look once sir what the problem is sir okay i will i have to execute again okay so so enter name something like called as priyanka so priyanka something like priyanka anyway that is 24 course is mtech uh name is something like this is for second right name is rahul age is 25 course is something like bmcn enter your name something like called as jini age is 24 course is msc that's it sir what output you are getting first time you are getting rahul data why because s2 then we are getting priyanka data why because s1 then we are getting jini data yes or no so we are creating one class uh, and we are 
we are creating one class and we are uh, dealing with multiple object one design multiple object sir can you discuss this one uh, with uh, the diagrammatical representation so that you will get more clear definitely i will discuss so that you will get more clarity right it's not a very big thing right so i'll going to discuss it now you will understand what is the important of uh, self come on I hope it is visible, right? So execution will start from here. Okay. So I'll write, uh, okay. So it will start here, something like, uh, okay. So whenever we are executing this one, this is called as what? This is called as something like called as object creation. Whenever you're going to create the object means it will going to create an object of stack memory or heap memory. It will going to create an object in a heap memory, right? So basically what I'll going to write, uh, I will write a heap memory here. Okay. So I required more space. Now that's why. Okay. No issue. Not an issue. Right. So heap memory. This is I will going to write a heap. So now we required one stack memory. Okay. So you can write a stack then heap. No issues. Okay. So here we are a little less space. Now in right side. So that's why I have written heap left side. Then a stack right side. So here I written stack. Whenever you are creating object, first of all, it will going to create an object for a student class. Where it will create? It will going to create a here. So object. Sir, what is the reference variable? Reference variable is S1. So S1 will be pointing to this particular object. Agree with me or not? Sir, of course you are agree with me. So have a look once, sir. Any doubt? No. So now we are in this line. So at the time of object creation, constructor will execute automatically. That means this constructor will execute now. Right? Constructor is a what? Constructor is a function. So, so it will going to create a frame inside a stack. Okay. It will going to create a frame inside a stack. Right? So what we can do? Small changes I will do so that you people will feel more comfortable. Right? S1, I'll write here. So I know I'm taking a lot of time, but I'm doing a lot of things. That's why I think time required. Okay. If you don't have time, you can don't watch the video, right? Anyway, that's fine. So here S1 is pointing to this particular object, basically. Okay. Which object? Student object. Okay. So here, uh, at the time of object creation, constructor will execute automatically. This ex constructor will call automatically and it will going to execute automatically. So for the execution of that particular constructor, it will going to create a frame inside a stack memory, right or not? Yes, it will going to create a frame inside a stack memory. Sir, now, uh, what is the frame name? Sir, frame name is a underscore underscore init underscore underscore. Right, sir. So that is okay. Now, if you'll observe very, very carefully, so here it will going to create a how many local variable? One local variable called as a self. And the self means what? It will going to pointing to the current object, current object, current, current class object. Current object means which one? Of course, you know, current object means this one. Sir, it will going to pointing to this one. Sir, any doubt at all? No, sir. No, is it, is it clear or not? Of course, sir, it is a clear. Fine. Now, if you'll observe very, very carefully, Okay, this is completed. Now we'll move towards the next line. So here it will going to ask to enter your name. In an output screen, it will going to ask to enter your name. Suppose this is my output screen. Are you compatible with this one? Yes, sir. So this is my output screen. So inside this output screen, what exactly it will going to ask me first time? It will going to ask me enter your name. So I'm going to enter what Priyanka. I'm going to enter Priyanka. So that Priyanka will store inside a self dot age, right? Self dot age means sorry, self dot name. Self dot name is what here? Self dot name is a instance variable. So it will going to create this variable inside a heap memory, right? Inside this particular object. So what is the variable name? Variable name is a name. And what exactly it will going to point? It will going to pointing to the it will going to pointing to the one object called as Priyanka. 
So that means that this name is pointing to Priyanka. That's it. Observe very, very carefully. Come on. Observe very, very carefully. Right, sir. Sir, next and after that, we will move towards one more next line. Right or not? So enter your age. So here in output screen, it will going to ask me to enter the age basically. Right? So enter your age. So I will going to enter the 24. That 24 will is to convert it to integer and store inside a self dot age. So that means it will going to create what? Uh, so it will going to create uh, one variables inside a heap memory. That variable name is called as age and age will hold what? Uh, it is holding 24 and that's clear cut information. So what from my side, right? So it will going to pointing to the Pointing to the edge. Right. Sir, next and after that, uh, if you'll observe very carefully in my output screen, what exactly it will going to ask me means uh, enter your course. Sir, uh, what I can say, sir, these things uh, you are already completed. Sir, why you are doing still these things means uh, uh, practice. Okay. Right. Practice make you great, basically. Right. So that's why similar thing I'm injecting in your mind. Multiple times it will going to do similar activity. It will be very easy to understand. That's why I know. But I'm discussing multiple times means you will feel comfortable. So that's why I'm doing this type of activities. I hope you like these activities. Anyway, that's fine. So enter your course. So enter your course means I will going to write mtech. And this mtech will store inside a self.course. Right? Self.course means it will going to create what? It will going to create a a uh, instance variable that is called as a course okay so that is called as course and what exactly it is going to point it will going to point to mtech so i'll going to write here mtech and it will pointing to mtech ready now Okay, now this function execution means that this constructor executions are completed. Once this constructor execution completed, it will vanish from the memory. Means it will going to remove it from the memory. Yes or no? It will going to remove it from the memory or not? Of course, sir, it will going to remove it from the memory. Right. So what I will going to do? I will going to cross it. Means uh, this is thing. This is a thing which is not available inside a memory. Or else, what I'll going to do? I'll going to crop it. What is the problem? Nothing. So I'll paste it here for note sake. Now it is ready. Now if you'll observe very, very carefully, let me remove this one or not required anyway. Right. Sir, now this function uh, constructor executions are completed. Now we are here. Means we completed this particular line. Now we will move towards uh, this particular line. Whenever we are moving towards uh, this particular line, so S2 is equals to student. That means it will going to create what? Uh, it will going to create one more reference variable that is called as a S2 first of all. Come, come on here, S2. And this S2 will pointing to which object? Student object. So one more object will going to create here. Agree with me or not? Yes, sir. Observe. One more object it will going to create. And S2 will not point into that object. S2 will point into this particular object. Right? So inside this object, if you observe very carefully, now it is ready, right? Now it is ready, no issues at all. So what I'm going to do? Right, sir. So S2 will point into this one. So at the time of uh, object creation, so constructor will call automatically. So this will uh, control will go to here and constructor will call automatically. So whenever it will going to create the constructor means uh, for the executions of contract constructor, it will going to create a frame inside a stack memory. So here, what is the frame name? Underscore underscore init. Underscore underscore function. This is okay. I hope you are getting 
so if you observe very carefully it is one local variable called as a self observe come on self and this is self will pointing to what current object ah uh, now tell me current object is this object or this second one second one is it clear so that's why self is required sir now self will pointing to current object means this particular object okay so now here if you we'll observe very carefully we completed this particular line now we'll move towards this particular line so that means in output screen it will going to ask me enter your age enter your age so again i'll going to write a enter your age so in enter your age i will go, sorry not enter your age enter your name so i'll going to enter rahul what will happen ha huh, come on yaar similar story rahul will store inside a self dot name so self means current object so try to create a instance variables inside a current object that's why you are using self yaar so here it will going to create a hmm come on here it will going to create what a one variable just like this one okay instance variable object level variable called as name and this one will pointing to what a this one will pointing to rahul that's why we required a self now now i think you are getting the clarity why we required basically self okay so that's why we required self to track the current object right fine now once observe very careful this line completed now we will move towards the second line so in second line it will going to ask me what it will going to ask me enter your age so i'll going to enter 25 so 25 will converted into integer and it will going to store inside a age that means it will going to create a variable called as age so that age variable will pointing to what ah uh, age variable will pointing to what come on yaar age variable will pointing to something like called as 25 so i'll make it as a box so that you people will comfortable right fine sir any doubt sir no doubt at all fine right and completed now we'll move towards the last line enter your course okay enter your course so what i'll going to write enter your course so course is a mca so this mca will store inside a course so it will going to create a instance variable for course so course and course will pointing to come on course will pointing to something like called as mca that's it so no minus mca so that's clear cut informations right any doubt with uh, this example sir 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 no 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 now is it completed yes now s2 is completed okay so i will strongly recommended believe me i'll i'll strongly recommended uh, so video will be very long if i'm going to create the object and all these thing for s3 so try to create by your own is it clear or not okay so try to create this one as of now i will going to skip s3 okay i'll going to skip s3 but don't skip s3 by your own okay otherwise it will be cheating kind of things for you okay so i'll going to skip s3 okay now now my object creation is completed means uh, for this one creation this completion completed now what i'll going to do see when this object creation is completed means uh, this uh, constructor execution is completed means uh, it will going to vanish from the memory na right so it will going to vanish from the memory so i'll going to cut it and we'll going to paste it here for your notes sake or something like okay anyway that's fine now if you'll observe very very carefully okay yeah now i have to remove this one also why because that self is completed that's why i'll remove it fine sir now what exactly i will going to do uh, sorry 
Now what exactly I'll going to do? These two line completed. Okay, these two line completed means these are the things completed behind the screen. Now I'll move towards this particular line. Okay, whenever I'm moving towards this particular line, we have S2 dot and we have S1 dot. So S2 dot print details first we have. Okay, so what I will going to do to make this a concept easier. So first of all, I'll going to write S1, then I'll going to write S2. Any doubts or no doubt, right? So if you will observe very carefully, now we are here. S1 dot print details. So it will going to call S1 dot print details, right? So that means for the executions of this particular print detail, so it will going to create a, a function called as print detail functions inside a stack memory. So observe very carefully, it will going to create a method, I can say our functions. So inside a stack memory, what is the function name? Print details. Print details. So this print detail function is having one local variable called as self. Agree with me or not? Yes, sir. Self. And self means pointing to. Come on. Self means pointing to current object. Current object means what? Uh, it will pointing to second one or first one? Of course, the first one. Sir, S1 dot print details. Whenever we are calling S1 dot print details, means inside this self, it will going to hold the address of S1. And S1 is pointing to this particular object. Right or not? Come on, come on or not? Okay. So self will pointing to this object, not to second object. Right. So S1 is pointing to this object, means self will pointing to this particular object. I hope you are getting the clarity. Right? Is it clear or not? Current current object here. Yeah. Okay, fine, sir. Sir, now, if you'll observe very carefully, now we are here. Now go to next line. Whenever you are going to next line, minus into 30, 30 star. So minus, in, minus into 30, I mean minus symbols, right? So 30 minus symbols you will get here. Approximately 30 I have written. Maybe it is more or less, sir. Check it later. Next, if you'll observe very carefully, now we have to move towards this particular line. So name is self dot name. So in output screen, it will going to print what it will first going to print name is self dot name. Self means what current object, current object means this particular object, self dot name is Priyanka. Come on, self dot name is Priyanka. So name is Priyanka, it will going to print or not. Sir, observe how it is a tracking beautiful concept here. Come on. It's for special concept of special concept here. Come on. So name is Priyanka. Right, sir. So once name is Priyanka, it will printing. Then it will move towards the next slide. So age is self dot age. Huh, self means this one. Self dot age is 24. So it will going to print what? Age is 24. Come on. Age is 24. Come on here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fine. Now we'll move towards uh, this particular line. Course is self dot course. Self dot course is empty. So it will going to print course is a M check. Hope you are getting now. Come on. Hope you are getting now. You have to watch a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. So based on your requirement. Come on. Right, sir. Fine, sir. Fine, fine, fine. Right, sir. Sir, now, if you will observe very carefully, is there any pending things? No. Completed. Once this function executions means once this method executions are completed, it will going to vanish from the memory. Means it will going to delete from the memory. So it will going to delete it from the memory. For your note's sake, I am going to paste it here. So yes. So I am going to maintain a sequence. Don't worry. So you can collect these things also. I'll share this. Uh, okay. Right, sir. Next and after that, uh, if you'll observe very carefully. Now, now this line is complete. Which one? This S1 dot print details. And we are getting the output. Yes, come on. Yes. Now S2 dot print details. When you have written S2 dot print details, uh, control will go to here. Right. Control will go to here. And it will going to execute print detail. Print detail is what? It is a method. 
So for the execution of this print detail method, it will going to create a frame inside a stack memory. Come on, yes or no? Yes sir, it will going to create a frame inside a stack memory. So what is the frame name? Frame name is a print details. So frame name is a print details. Now it is having one local variable called as a self. So this is a self. And the self will always point into current object. Current object means S1 or S2. Current object is S2. So it will point into S2, not S1. Come on. Yes. So it will point into S2, right? It will point into S2. Now go to next line means here minus into 30 stars. So it will going to print what minus into 30 minus into something like 30. So it will going to give a minus 30 times. So suppose 30 times. Now go to next line. Come on. Now go to next line. So name is self.name. So name is self.name. Self.name means what a self.name. Come on. Self.name is Rahul. Okay. So name is Rahul. Come on, yeah. Name is Rahul. Next time after that, go to next slide. Age is a self dot age. Age is a self dot age. So age is a self dot age. Self dot age is a 25. Age is a 25. Right, sir. Now, if you observe very, very carefully, come on, go to here. Course is a self dot course. Okay, course is a self dot course. So, what I'll go into write a course. Self means which one? This one. Self is pointing to this particular object. Self dot course is a MCA. So, it will going to print what a course is a MCA. Course is a MCA. So that's it. Course is a MCA. Course is a MCA. It will go into print. Now, is there anything pending? No. So that means it will go into removed from the memory. Once execution is completed, it will go into removed from the memory. And I will paste it here for your note's sake. Means these are vanished, vanished means already deleted from memory. And this is my output screen. If you require, I'll share these files. Or else you can take the screenshot now. No issues. Okay. So fine. That's it. And finally, S1 and S2 are global variable, right? Once the program execution, now program execution completed means they will remove from the memory. So once the program execution completed means this global variable will remove from the memory. Okay. S1 will S2 will be in the memory now, right? I can say. And others are deleted from the memory. Now I think you are understanding what exactly the requirement of a self. See, think a minute about it. If self is not there, we have a multiple object. Which object data we will access? If self is not there, where in which object we will going to store the data? From tra tracking sake, we require these type of things now. Okay. Clear? I hope. Any doubt? No. So let me save it. Okay. Let me save it. Self with a. Or I can say self variable path two. Fine. Any doubts or no? Sir, I already told you now. S1. And self means what? S1 is pointing. So what exactly I'm saying? S1 and self pointing to current object. S2 and self pointing to current objects. Okay. So what I'm saying, sir, have a look once, sir. sir. So I'll, I'll 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 take one more example. So observe. So I have taken a class called as a student. So def underscore underscore init underscore underscore self. Okay, fine. Now I'll do nothing. Simple. So I'll write a printer. I'll write a printer something like called as 
ID of a self. ID of a self. Now I'll create the object. S1 is equals to student. That's it. I have done nothing. This is the smallest program. I don't think no doubt. Okay, just observe. Whenever I'm doing these things, so what will happen? So it will going to create an object of a student class. Yes or no, it will going to create the object of student class. Let me draw it here so that you people will feel comfortable. So execution start will here. Then this is a heap memory. This is a stat memory. So this is a heap memory. And this is a stack memory. So inside stack memory, it will create S1. And S1 will pointing to current object. OK. Now, if you observe very carefully, at the time of object creation, constructor will execute automatically. For the execution of constructor, it will going to create a frame inside a stack memory. Right or not? Yes, come on, yeah. come on, come on, come on. So what I'll do? Okay, so I think try to adjust. Okay, fine. Now for the execution of constructor, it will going to create a frame called as underscore underscore init underscore underscore. Fine. This is function. So for this execution of this particular function, sir, it will going to create one local variable called as self. And the self will also pointing to current object or not? Yes. It will pointing to current object. So that means what I'm saying, this S1 and this self, both are pointing to same memory location or not? This object is having some identity, right? So that ID. So I'm saying S1 and S2, both are pointing to same location or not? How to track? How to know? So if you print the ID of self, what you will get? You will get the ID is this one. If I will print the ID of S1, see, same or different? Same. Okay. So here, okay, here self and self and S1 pointing to same memory location. Come on here. Yes or no? Yes. Sir, I'll create one more program. Here what I'll going to do, I'll going to create a one more object called as S2 and id of s2 so here i'll 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 write i'll for the separation sake i will write a 130 minus symbol so 20. so here first time it will going to print s1 address and a self address same next time it will going to create s2 address and a self address same have a look once sir ah come on here come on getting or not getting or not getting or not inject inject in these things in your mind so second time S2 and a self, same. First time, first time S1, self, same. Draw it now. Everything draw it. Everything draw it. That's it. You will get the clarity. You will draw it here. You have time. You have patience. You have consistency. Maintain consistency. Draw it. Come on, getting or not? Right, sir. Now, in the outside market, I mean, uh, I have seen Many people, sir, they are giving you the wrong information. That is what key. Self is a keyword. I have seen many books and many people are saying that self is a keyword. Okay. I'm problem with the self self. Why they are saying self is a keyword? Those who are coming from Java background in Java, that is a keyword called as this keyword. This keyword means what? Behaving like self only. We have here self, na? So in Java, Java people are using something like called as uh, this keyword. So similarly, this is a keyword in Java, but self is not a keyword in Python. People are saying self is a keyword, but how sir self is not a keyword? Keyword means you cannot change the name, but here we can change the name. Sir, can you show it practically? Why not? Yaar? We can show it practically. So I will take one example. Like first example, we're going to take. Okay. So I'll going to copy this first example. And I'll going to create a, one more cell. And I'll going to create multiple cell. Okay. Now I'll going to write a 
self is a not a keyword so this is my program name paste it so what i'm saying instead of self if i'll write any other thing means i'll going to write x is it possible or not yes possible you can write x you can write x you can write x here 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 clear or not so execute it enter your name i am going to take uh, some other new name so that you will feel comfortable otherwise you will say ki sir you are a very cheater you are using same time same name maybe you are showing some older output no i am going to take one more new name just like anjali anjali age uh i can say anjali means what so silpa city right so silpa city age is how much 43 so enter the course capacity course is what maybe ma see it is giving name is anjali 43 ma so that means what i'm saying working perfectly or not so don't tell self is a keyword no no self is not a keyword it is a variable name so instead of self you can use x you can use y you can use z you can use priyanka you can use rahul you can use surendra you can use jini you can use your name okay you can use your boyfriend name your girlfriend name you can use anything based on your requirement you can use self you can use help okay he help okay something like okay help is help you can use or not help is not a keyword right so you can use it maybe okay you can check it later right help delp kelp relf okay hello hi you can use anything so what i'm saying inject this thing in your mind the self is not a keyword but strong suggestion self is not a keyword but you have to use self it is highly recommended you have to use self it is highly recommended so don't use any other name okay so use self it is recommended but not a keyword just like K, people are saying uh k w a r g s okay star k w r double star k w r s star a r g s these are the keyword no you can use anything i already used it some other things in the case of functions so similarly they are not keywords okay you can use anything based on your required okay fine any doubt no sir right sir i have one doubt that is what let me copy this particular program first program let me copy i'll paste it here now so what i will going to do so i think in a previous class previous example previous means in yesterday i mean in a previous video example i have taken some other different way i have written the program like here i have written name this is local variable okay name age course so if you will write like this at the time of calling you have to pass name is priyanka you have to pass and a age is something like 24 and course is something like a mtech now you will get the output or not uh, uh, not oh oh sorry here you have to write name here you have to write age i completed this example in a previous class means what previously we are asking to the user hey user can you give the data so here at the time of calling we are giving priyanka priyanka will store inside name and that name means priyanka priyanka will assign to self dot name okay that's all so we are getting the output or not sir we are getting the output so what i am saying so instead of self we can use x i already told you we can use x no issue x is not defined oh here yeah we are getting now so what i am saying if i going to remove this x then what will happen definitely if i going to execute this one means i will get what error i will get error what it is exactly saying it saying that uh, takes three positional argument but four was given that means it saying that that means it saying that so name age course is there so by default python 
is taking this name as a self variables getting now so observe previously we are setting self now then we shall set x now we have written name what we are saying this is name but python always take the first argument as a reference variable means self so python it treated this one is a self so observe come on i will copy it come on come on i will copy it and paste it observe again i am doing same thing so what i will write the instead of name i will going to instead of x i will going to write a name so now my name is behaving like what now my name is behaving like a yeah now my name is behaving like a reference variable called as self name dot name dot name dot okay here i'll going to write name dot and here i'll going to write a name dot come on name dot so so here now my name is acting as what my name is acting as a, something like called as a self self right so that's why i'll not pass priyanka i'll directly pass 24 and mtech 24 will store inside age and mtech will store inside a course and this is a self so that's why i'll go and write this particular i'll remove first line and i'll remove this line also we have two variables na one is age one is course and this name is acting as a self so here observe here name is a uh, acting as a self Thanks. Now execute error. Oh, we are getting now. We are getting ages twenty four and courses empty now. So that means you are taking name, but Python it uh, internally it will going to treat it as self. I hope you are getting or not. Any doubt? Any doubt? No, no, no. I don't think right. I hope it is very very clear what I can say right from my side. I think it is very very clear. So have a look once. By using self variables, we can access the members inside a class. By using reference variable, you can access the members outside the class. Self variable is basically used to access the instance methods and the instance variables of the current object. Self is a referring to current object or current memory. I already told you, self means a current object or current memory. It is acting as an accessor. Self is the first argument of constructor and instance methods. Basically, we cover already now. Self, self, first time. If you write name also, it will going to treat it as self. If you are going to write self, means it will going to treat it as self. If you are going to write x, it will going to treat it as self. Now, last point. Remember, self is not a keyword in Python. Instead of self, you can self you can use other name. But it is highly recommended. Try to use self. Okay? Is it clear or not? Yes. Sir. So what I can say? Uh, practice by your own. Take different, different, multiple example. Take television example. Take car example, bike example. Create the program. Do the dry run. Some means do the diagrammatical representations. What I have done in a pen process, basically. So purchase a chart paper. I think you know chart paper, drawing paper. Purchase drawing paper. Make uh, the beautiful diagrams inside uh, something like that particular paper, so that uh, so that you people will feel comfortable. You will fall in love with the programming or something like uh, here, right? So internal thing is required. Okay, program. I mean say anyone can write the program anyone can do the copy and paste but internal thing memory representations and dry run flow of executions okay these are the things is very very important what i can say is it clear or not i hope it is very clear cut information so what i can say from my side so that's it and uh, i will share all the codes in my github link so you can check the description below to get all the codes and if you require this type of means uh, images and all okay dry run image and all i can share it okay that's it and uh, thank you so much for watching this particular video we will meet in the next video for continuation part thank you so much guys